Hi everyone! Before we get started on the card, I just wanted to take a few seconds to thank everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and those of you who have been watching my videos and leaving me sweet, sweet comments. I really, really appreciate it. It certainly makes my day and makes me want to keep making videos. Uh, before we get started, I just wanted to tell you to stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to give away some of the cards that I'm making today. So, let's get started! Okay, I'm going to show you how to make this card using a transparency as your base and show you how to layer it so you can get a area to write on the inside. The stamps that I'm using today are from Close to My Heart's Charm stamp set. To start out with, you need to cut your transparency down to a standard card size and round the corners. Then, I wanted to give the edges some definition and a little shimmer, so I used the Close to My Heart Create a Shade Paint um, in the pearl color, which I just love this color because it gives um, such a shimmery edge to it. And this paint dries really fast, so it's great for a project like this. And the way I did it was just dip the paint in this sponge and use the sponge to go around the edges. I already did it so that it would have time to dry. And then for this one, I used a pigment-based ink and stamped the images on the edge to give the edges a little uh, flare. When you do this, you want to really let this dry. It takes pigment-based ink a while to dry. Um, what I did was use the uh, craft heater and heat it up. Uh, just make sure that you use, uh, you keep moving the heater so that it doesn't melt the transparency. So what I'm going to do first is ink the edges of some pieces. And to start out with, you want to add your inside journaling piece first. And one thing you can do is use the uh, grids on a mat to make sure that you get it lined up straight. One of the great things about using a clear card. Then, the best way to add your front piece is to just look over the top and line it up. Now, what I want to do is take these two pieces and sand make a sandwich with the transparency. And I'm going to start out on the back side. Be sure that you don't get your adhesive too far on the edges so that it doesn't show through on your card. And then if you can just hold it, hold it on over the top and line it up. Then the easiest way to get your inside piece is to add it over the top and then smash down your card giving you a mat that you can only see one of. Next I pre-punched a little hole right here in the card with a hole punch and I'm just going to use that to thread my ribbon through the card Of course, this works better when it's not on camera.
trim the tails. And then add your flower and a button. Another thing that you can add to the front of the card is rub-ons. For this, I added some little flowers at the top and the bottom. And then the card that I showed you at the front, I used uh, Versamark ink and stamped the border and then uh, sprinkled Close My Heart white embossing powder over the top of it and then heated it with the heat gun. And the same thing applies. Uh, you need to keep moving the heat gun so that it doesn't melt the transparency. Thanks for watching! you I was going to give something away and in my attempt to make this video I have three different cards here and I'm going to give them away. To win all you have to do is go over to my blog and leave a comment in the comment section and I will randomly draw three winners each to win one of these cards. Be sure you don't leave your comment at YouTube but instead go over to my blog. You can find the address right here. Thanks and good luck!